So guys, growing up in church, I, yeah, yes, me, yeah, I grew up in church, guys. Um, and for the most part, I've always been a church boy, man. I grew up, I, I put on the, the attire, you know, I sang the choruses, I danced, like David danced. Look, guys, I was that guy. Nevertheless, I was doing my thing, right? Because I wasn't fully committed, really committed. Nevertheless, I believed that, hey, going to church, reading my Bible, praying every night, being a good boy, making sure I don't get myself in trouble, was enough for me to at least feel as if I was a Christian. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. There were times where I actually believed that I was a Christian. But I learned something over time. You know what I found out, guys? I found out that I had to get baptized in order to be a Christian. So after doing all my good stuff, I came to the conclusion that, shoot, guys, dang, man, I've been doing all of this good stuff all my life, but I'm going to go to hell. Why? Because I was not baptized, right? This is what I'm telling myself. So now I'm on a journey to be baptized. And I know I'm speaking to some of you. Like some of you have been on a journey to be baptized and have gotten baptized. And now being baptized, you check the box. I am a Christian. For some of us, it's not necessarily baptism. For some of us, it's just a profession of faith. Um, the sinner's prayer, repeat after me, right? And then we check a box or we write it in our journal that we are Christians. For some of us, it's... um. As I said, singing on the choir, I never sang on the choir, by the way. I have a terrible voice for that. But for some of us, it's singing on the choir, participating in events and activities, um, helping the homeless, reading our Bible, doing all of the good stuff in order for us to check that box, to lay claim that we are Christians. And I hit a brick wall. I hit a brick wall, guys. Let me tell you what the brick wall was. And if you do not know if you hit a brick wall yet or not, if anything that I said, you could find yourself relating to it, then perhaps you just hit a brick wall yourself. Because you see, the title or the claim, believer, son of God, and Christian cannot nor shall be associated in any way, shape, and form with good works. That is the problem. And another thing, guys, that we don't really realize, but we better realize right now, is that Christian, I know that word is taboo, but I still use it, what it is to be a Christian has to be something that cannot be relatable to any other religion. Yes, guys. While all the other religions lay claim to, hey, I'm going to pray five times a day. I'm going to, you know, do my meditation. I'm going to find, you know, the, the God in me. While other religions speak about taking care of their neighbor and doing this, that, and the other in order to receive paradise. I found out something about Christianity that I did not know before. And this is how I realized that in all of my doings, I was not a Christian. In all of my attempts to try to outweigh my bad by doing the good stuff, I was not a Christian. I could not have been a Christian no matter what I did. Why? This is why. Because we are not... Christian based upon what we do. We are Christian believers, sons and daughters of God, based upon who God makes us to become. So it's not in the doing and the practicing, but it's rather in the nature, in the heart, in the spirit. Who are you? And I realized something very fascinating. You know what that is? That I could try to do as much good as I want to do, but I was still, spiritually speaking, a dead corpse. You cannot, you cannot outwork yourself. You cannot do enough if you're dead. To be dead is to be dead. What had to happen was not an exchange and a substitution 
removing that which was bad and doing that which is good, what needed to be done was God breathing life into my dead spirit and reviving me, giving me the life that I need in order to be what he has called me to be. So Christianity is honorable practice. It's not about all the Christian lingo. But a lot of that stuff, the majority of that stuff comes through what God has already done in you. So be reminded, guys, it's not about trying to outweigh your bad habits. It's about being dead and now being made alive again. That's what it is to be a true Christian. Anyways, guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, you already know. It's all love. Peace.